Yesterday was my second last day in Indonesia, which makes me a bit sad because I had so much fun here. We had a dinner later on. It was a gala dinner, sort of gala dinner slash farewell dinner for me with um, all the ibus from Putri Indonesia. Ibu is a way to show respect here to your elders, to elderly women. And I was so honored to be there, to have them just thank me for coming here because it was an honor to even be, you know, invited here to come and learn about their culture and learn about the people. I'm the director of the So nice to meet you here. Hello, Jandi. So it's really nice to have you here. So again, we are coming and thank you for um, giving us the opportunity to meet you and to learn and to hear from you. So this is my last day in Indonesia and before I leave I really wanted to do something special where I would be able to speak to the youth about education, about our place in the world, about leadership and about women empowerment and so I am going to the University of Indonesia um, hopefully to speak to some Millennials and Generation Z because they are you know the future of this world. I'm not 100% an expert when it comes to you know women empowerment and gender equality, but it's something that I believe in. It's something that I believe if I work on it and you work on it in the future in yourself, we can finally get to a place of gender equality. When I say we should bring men into the conversation, it's because for the longest time they've been sidelined. And they have sidelined themselves sometimes because they don't know maybe how to help women or maybe they think that it is not their issue as well. And it is. Because when we work collectively with them, we're able to get to the spaces where we need to be. Hey Zozi, how did the event go today? It went fantastic. It went so fantastic that I got a certificate of appreciation. It says they presented to Zozibini Tunzi Miss Universe as a speaker in a public lecture. And I was so impressed to see that there were so many women in that room pursuing their MBA. And we actually spoke about how much Jakarta and Indonesia as a whole has evolved. They told me about how many women are in leadership positions, how many women ministers they have, how many women leaders they have in companies, presidents in companies. And it was so impressive to me to be able to hear that. And one other thing that I loved was that it was a room full of all genders. What I mean by we should not be afraid to step into our power is that we've all been given voices and we've all been given a mind and we all stand for something. When you enter that room, make sure that you stand your ground and make sure that you stand for things that you believe in. What I am doing in my part is that, well for me I feel like awareness is the first step to social change and my biggest job as this universe is to spread awareness, is to make sure that everywhere I go, I'm being honest with women, I'm being honest about what is happening in the world and what we can do. So it was, it was a really fantastic day. I think one of my most favorite days because wherever I go, I love to sit down and to just chat to people, to hear their opinions about the world and, and to share mine as well because I feel like that's how we can move forward by doing things individually, but as a collective because in as much as we're individuals, what we do affect the whole world and, and society as a whole. And so yeah, it was a very, very good one. Goodbye Indonesia! You were amazing! <laughs>